Oh man, it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? I'm gonna keep starting from that parade thing because why the hell not? Uh, I sort of mentioned that before, but uh, I don't know if I fully explained that. Uh, now I can start from before the, the the actual thing starts. I can start in an earlier place than I used to. Um, really doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Today's Valentine's Day though, which is which is fun. I am. Home alone because uh, they went out and I didn't care. Uh, I, I'm just chilling, gonna spend Valentine's like I did last year, maybe. Or uh, I might actually do like a Valentine's Day stream. I don't know what, but I really like streaming. And uh, if people are lonely, uh, they'll they'll come in and say hi. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm lonely. No, I don't know. Um. I'm usually completely fine with my loneliness, but it starts to get to me a little bit around these these kind of Valentines, you know. Um, I don't know. I I just start to lament that uh, that I've completely given up on you know online dating, but you know it's a kind of a good thing. <laughs> uh, so whatever. Um, well, that that specifically is kind of a good thing, but then. Still lonely. Oops. Does somebody have fever? I think Sonata has fever. I might be following him on this purple, which is a bad idea. Oops. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. You know, like these things happen. Uh, but I I shouldn't dwell on it that much because then this is gonna be sad. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's it's an annoying thing. It's just a yeah. I follow. Damn it. Uh, it's just a social thing. It's just Valentine's Day. Oh, we gotta be, find a, find a lover, <laughs> be with them. Uh, and yeah, the online dating thing. It's it's I like I don't like an online dating. Uh, just because, like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. But then at the same time, I've met a lot of really cool girls <laughs> that, you know, uh, just, they're just friends because I don't want it to go any further because when it goes further, things get complicated because they're on the other side of the world or the other side of the United States or something, you know? I, I don't know, like the the other side of the hemisphere, maybe. <laughs> Not really thinking of anybody in specific for, for any of those, except maybe the last one. But that's an old story. Um. <laughs> Yikes. Uh. <sighs> yeah, loneliness is, loneliness sucks, but people, people strive for... A connection, a togetherness. It's, it's, it's natural. It's you know, loneliness is. Ba There's that whole fucking. Uh, well, uh, what? Who was it? It was Vsauce. Did the isolation thing. That was crazy. So if you have YouTube Red, I want to recommend checking out Vsauce's new show thing. I think it's called Mind Field, and I think maybe the first episode is uh, isolation, and it talks about uh, like just having nothing at all, you know, nothing to interact with, no one to talk to, what, like, what happens to your brain, and he actually went inside a white box with just a bed, a toilet, and some food in a can, and just stayed there for three days, um, and just, just to see what would happen, and it's a very interesting video, and there are other videos, I think one is, like, Destruction, all about catharsis, uh, and, um, other ones, <laughs> I forget. Uh, oh, there was one. Uh, I know I'm missing one. Is annoying me because I've seen four of them, and I remember two of them, but not one. I remember the fourth one was artificial intelligence, uh, because it had some dude with the fake girlfriend uh, on his on his 3ds or whatever, and that was his life was his fake girlfriend thing. Uh, I mean, <laughs> not to be mean to anybody, but, you know, she ain't real, she ain't real. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but he he develops some sort of weird emotional connection to this, um, and it's and it's interesting. Uh, I think it was more about artificial intelligence than fake girlfriends, but that was yeah that was episode four. Uh, what the hell was episode two? The isolation. Dis- oh man, I I don't remember. Uh, conformity. He did an episode on conformity. When you're like um, doing things because other people are doing them, uh, and it's cool. Like he did little like uh, experiments and things, like social experiments. Uh, except real, you know, he just brought in people and he was like, "Hey, eh, do this shit or whatever." Uh, and he does, he does those. Like he he makes it a real proper educational video, which is great. Which I love those. Um, like it's usually like bring in a professional to talk about it. Uh, do some experiments. I think he usually does like at least two different types of experiments that are relevant to the topic, and it's cool. It's very cool. Uh, I think Bill Nye is actually coming out with a show. I think Bill Nye saves the world is what it's called. I'm very excited for that one out of uh, the YouTube Red. YouTube Red. I don't have very much money, but so far it hasn't been that much of a waste. I guess. Um, cause that's good. Minefield's good. I'm excited for uh for for. Uh, Bill Nye saves the world, uh, and I think Game Grumps are actually coming out with a YouTube Red show, which uh, which is pretty interesting. I have no idea what it's about, but they mentioned it in passing like once uh, to to uh, to a guest they had on. Uh, so I'm excited with what whatever the hell that is, because apparently they said they were taking acting lessons for the show, uh, which is interesting. Um, so excited for that one. Uh, PewDiePie, actually, this is a nice segue into here, PewDiePie got his reg, uh, YouTube Red show fucking cancelled. <laughs> so I touched on this a little bit, but I saw PewDiePie's video about Fiverr, uh, and that's what got me into Fiverr. Nothing has happened with Fiverr so far, and I guess that's fine. I set up my profile in a very unprofessional way, and, uh, didn't present myself well, so nobody's actually hiring me fine I guess I don't know how to do business properly oops uh, <laughs> but yeah so so PewDiePie's whole thing with Fiverr um, sort of sort of added just just added a little bit too much to the slight kind of things he's been doing uh, involving anti-semitism so one of the things he did on Fiverr was he hired and paid two people to write death to all Jews on a sign and do make a video on it uh, and that was just like the tipping point and now Wall Street Journal made an article and a video showing like the times that PewDiePie had been anti-semitic uh, and was like you know PewDiePie is anti-semitic and it was like super bad and then because of this and because of how huge he is Disney severed all ties with PewDiePie and uh, Google canceled his YouTube Red show and did something I think they took off his advertise or they they didn't advertise him it was like they they stopped they stopped putting advertisements for him in anything else uh so that's you know it doesn't pay to be racist even if it's satire he's got such a huge following and he's so weirdly important because he's got 53 million subscribers he's just like the face of YouTube almost and some people don't like that but it's what it is and when he's being anti-semitic even if it's satire people won't take it as satire you know Poe's law um Poe's law by the way is a term that means that like if it's not super obvious that it's satire somebody is gonna think that it isn't at some point you know you have to you have to be very very careful with satire because if you get too weird with it, there there's a chance that people won't see the weirdness and they'll think you're genuinely racist or you're genuinely anti-Semitic or genuinely like any of the crazy shit that people pretend to be 
sometimes because there are crazy people that are actually these things. Um, so beware Poe's Law if you're going to fuck around with uh, satire. <laughs> I feel like I've used a lot of big words this time. Is Poe's Law a psychology thing? I don't think Poe's Law is a psychology That's more of like a just a general fun term. <laughs> um, yep, now I've run out of things to say. <laughs> yeah, uh, gotta feel bad for PewDiePie though. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it's like I, uh, I have to say something because, oh, I'm a YouTuber, uh, so I have, I have some anything, but no, I have no connection to PewDiePie at all. It's just like, we're both YouTubers, but I'm ridiculously small, and he's ginormous. Uh, but he likes to have fun. He always likes to have fun, and <laughs> no one realizes it ever. Like that whole big thing about deleting his channel at 50, uh, 50 mil, uh, and that got huge. Uh, and I, 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 I should have called it. In the back of my mind, I knew that he would just delete his second channel that he made. Um, just, like, because I knew that that he would follow through on it, but he wouldn't want to actually delete his... Like, he would do something. He would make a big joke out of it. And that was the joke. But everybody took it so seriously. They were like, oh, he's, he's uh, ungrateful and whatever the fuck. I don't know. This was forever ago. There's a lot of YouTube drama going on. <laughs> Every now and then I comment on YouTube drama because I keep up with it. You know, Tana Mangu and Ma Mongoose and iDubs. That was a fun show thing. I talked about that a little bit too, yeah? I didn't get too much into that specifically, but I got into the things surrounding it with uh, racism and the N-word. Now I say the N-word, even though in that video I said uh, the N-word like five times. <laughs> it's a very sensitive word, Okay. Uh, in example, I think it's a little bit okay, but, you know, like, <sighs> pose law, <laughs> satire you gotta be careful about. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, there's just a lot of shit surrounding it. Um. I think I said some things about Mexicans, and then somebody who was actually Mexican said something. I don't remember at all, though. <laughs> Oops. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yay! Um, hmm. I found a new fun thing to do by myself is to see uh, how many different ways I can yell or speak the word spaghetti. Because spaghetti is a fun word. Because <laughs> I was just thinking about it, you know. Because I was talking about Fiverr, and then Patchy, dumb son of a bitch, was like, you're not a voice actor, what do you mean? Nobody's going to hire you, you suck at it. And I'm like, well, I was... Okay. <laughs> then I was like, alright, let's 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 try some things, let's see what happens. Uh, so I just started yelling things, and then I was just like... Because yelling's a big part of voice acting. Um... <laughs> You have to have a confidence in your voice, and yelling is good with that. Uh, but uh, I just I was doing random words, and then I just landed on spaghetti, and I was like spaghetti, <laughs> you know. And then I was just like spaghetti, and then <laughs> and then it just random the degrees of loudness and inflection, and just <laughs> how many different ways can I say the word spaghetti? Uh, spaghetti. Uh, <laughs> That's that's that story. Uh, it is fun. I might do that every now and then. I really should switch my teams. I don't know why I haven't. Oops. Uh, looks like we've got... Yeah, we're assuming that's Sonata. They're kicking ass for four people playing. Come on, we used to get more... What the fuck is happening? What is, what is happening right now? Everybody's quitting. Um, what is actually... Then they are 21 hours, 6 hours, 5 hours, 9 hours, 2 hours, 1 hour, 1 day, uh oh, 3 hours, 1 hour, 6 hours, 11 hours, 17 hours, 2 hours, within the hour, 7 hours, 9 hours, 3 hours, 8 hours, and 12 days. Damn it, they've been here since the start. I, I should have gotten rid of them before. <laughs> 
otherwise, they're all pretty active, just apparently not during bingo, because who gives a shit? Um, I don't have an open job, right? No, okay. Uh, rank 9, I gotta give Chugs this job. I think he asked for it. I don't know what I'm gonna name him, though. <laughs> uh, maybe something, something about Koreans. <laughs> His satirical racism can be kind of funny in the right crowds with the right audience, you know, like like the whole you might have just seen there, one of the one of the names uh in the alliance is bad driver because that person is a person uh who's like I mean started as like technically a fan of the show, but now we're we're I I'd like to say we're pretty close friends. Uh, and, and she's, um, what is it? I, I sometimes forget. I think, uh, born German and then now living in China and I think she's got a Chinese, uh, thing now. Like she's officially Chinese. Um, so for her name, I wanted it to be you know, like a fun, sort of slightly racist jab or something, uh, but like, and I know she would be super cool with it and just laugh her ass off if I went crazy with it, but then, you know, pose Law, nobody else knows that it's a joke, <laughs> like a few people in the chat, but then... If I'm making if I'm making these videos and people come in the alliance, if they see something super racist, they're like, "What the hell is this?" So I stuck with the standard sort of stereotypical Chinese people can't drive thing, uh, and that's that's it. That's very simple, very common, not really a big deal, not really offensive, but still has roots in racism for fun. <laughs> I don't. Uh, like, I don't genuinely dislike Chinese people. Of, like, all of the races, uh, Chinese people I've made fun of the most on this show, somehow. Well, just because I used to talk about Zhuwa a lot, and I would talk about his really thick accent, uh, and just pretty much that was it, you know? <laughs> uh, I also, I, uh, Mike pointed out I made some really weird comments in the past. Uh, like one joke, like, uh, Chinese joke that I, that I heard, that I know, <laughs> like the one racist Chinese joke that I know. I know one ridiculously racist joke because I saw like a video of it and it was interesting and I repeated it once. So now I'll never forget it. Uh, I actually told my sister and her boyfriend cause I like prepared them for it too. I was like, it's I just, I, I was like, I was reminded of a really racist joke, and, and they were like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah, but it's, it's, it's really fucking racist. Uh, and they were like, all right, go ahead. And then I said it, and then they were just like, no, <laughs> you know, they were just like in shock and like in awe a little bit. Like, what, how, <laughs> like, where does that come from? How do you know this? Like, how can you even say some of those things? And I'm just like, I told you it was racist. <laughs> you know, I'm not actually racist. Uh, satirical racism is fun, but you have to be wary, you know. I don't intend to be racist ever. I don't think I've said anything, like, intentionally racist or anything that could be mis 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 misconstrued as that. Misconstrued? Misconstrued. <laughs> I hope so, at least. That one joke in, that I made in the past, I'm pretty sure I set that up as, like, this is the joke that I know and it's racist, you know? Um, I think I said something annoying before that, though. I think I said I don't speak that ching chong. <laughs> that's, that's a little silly. Uh, the, the Chinese joke is very, it's, uh, it's, uh, Chinese people name their children by dropping pots and pans down the stairs. Um, it's a very old one. Uh, I know a lot of jokes, <laughs> bad jokes. Um, I used to, my, my sister owned an adult joke book and I would read the shit out of it. Like every day I would, I would just like borrow it from her and just read random passages and give it back, you know, at the end of the day, kind of shit. Um, 
and that that went on for like a week and whenever we went on vacation uh around this time she would bring it and then we just read that and laugh to ourselves in the car kind of shit uh and i don't remember a lot of them but it was a very fun book um like it was all in sections too it was like blonde jokes and then like uh like really dirty like sexual kind of jokes and then like uh like bar jokes like yada yada walks into a bar kind of shit uh, a lot of them were really simple, but uh, they were fun. They were very, it was a very, very large book, too. I remember it uh, like it had a red cover and uh, it was like inch and a half thick, I'd say. I'd say... <laughs> uh, I've been fucking up words randomly today. I almost kind of know why, but I won't say. <laughs> it's, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, no, so that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, another very old joke, blonde joke, um, that I remember well. I remember jokes if I've told them multiple times, and this is one of the ones that I've told multiple. Because this story of the book thing happened in, like, elementary school, you know? Long time ago. Uh, that's why I don't remember a lot of them. But the few that I remember usually end up being blonde jokes. Uh, almost specifically because I am blonde, so it's fun to do them. But there's, there's one... There's one that has something to do with an airplane, but I don't, I don't fully remember it. Um, it's got, well, I remember a bit of the punchline and, like, how it flows, but I don't remember enough of it to really remember it. Uh, but there is a very, very old one, uh, and then it's a blonde redhead and a brunette escape from jail, and they're on the run. Uh, they find a barn, and they all decide to hide in some burlap sacks. And when the police find them, they go, hey, look at these sex. Might be people hiding in there. It's like, oh, give it a kick. So he kicks the one with the brunette in it. And she goes, meow. He's always a bag, bag of cats. Don't worry about it. And he kicks the one with the redhead in it. And she goes, woof, woof. He's always a dog in that bag. Don't worry about it. He kicks the one with the blonde. And she goes, potatoes. Because it's a bag. Full of potatoes. <laughs> oh God, that's such an old joke. I like it's still kind of funny, <laughs> and I hope it was funny to anyone. It's weird to tell jokes by yourself because without the immediate, you know, uh, like like the audience there or at least someone there to to laugh. Uh, you don't know if it's funny unless you're like a really good comedian and you've just gotten used to what's funny and what's not but even sometimes you know they, they run their jokes behind family members and shit first I think most people at least um, <clears throat> but that's a very common one there's also something to do with a lawnmower but I don't, I don't remember that one um, people used to do like yo mama joke competitions like <laughs> I never participated because I didn't like insulting people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but they were pretty fun to watch. It'd just be two people, like, like st staring at each other as a sort of uh, standoff type thing. Um, is that what you call it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's just like they go back and forth with some sort of yo mama joke, and then it's supposed to get heated or something. I don't know. <laughs> Usually they just have an arsenal that they remember. It's like a, it's like a rap battle. A lot of rap battling is just trying to insult the opponent. Sometimes you know, like the the better rapper gets the gets the win, but you know you're you're trying to intimidate the opponent, so you're also insulting the shit out of them because it's rap. <laughs> not a good rapper, not a good freestyler. Uh, I I don't know. I've never never really tried, but. Don't want to try. Not a thing that I do. I don't know. This kind of shit can flow naturally, but this is just conversation. This is just talking. Um, if I want to sing it or rap it or do it quickly, it's just no. <laughs> no. I don't know. A lot of it's like a mental block. It's like insecurity or whatever the fuck. It's like, oh, I can't do this thing. So then it becomes a d d loophole of death or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, where it's... <laughs> That's not what it's called. That's the second time trains come. Uh, what's it actually called? I don't remember. Um, 
but it but it's a bad thing because like your brain your brain starts like convincing you that you really are shit at this thing or whatever because you say you're the, you say that you're shit at it and when you try it you start being shit at it because you've said that you've been shit at it and then it's just goes downhill from there uh what the fuck do they call that tiger help me out here she's over she's over she's looking out the window kitty hi she's in her chair <laughs> i say it's her chair now because she's in there all the time it's like my chair it's my grandmother's chair actually um long time ago that was uh that was at uh at her house well i guess i i never really like my grandmother and my, my grandfather owned the house together. I don't know who had the chair, uh, but my uh, grandfather, or gra grandmother's long gone. Uh, very sad, very sad. Uh, been a while though, you know. People move on. Um, still get kind of sad about it though. Very nice lady. Uh, and now my grandfather is kind of losing it. Very sad too. Shit, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad because I'm lonely, and I'm sad because my grandparents... No. <laughs> this is a sad Valentine's Day. I should do a stream. Streams make me happy, right? Oh, God. Well, this video is kind of long, so... <laughs> uh, take care of yourself.